Alright, Knights of Jagaria, welcome back to Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. We're going to cover Faye today, and we're going to talk about him a little bit and see what he could do and see what is kind of good for the guy. So, strap yourself in. And as usual, stay triggered. Pew pew. pew. Faye is a monk. He comes from this country, the Republic of Gamol. And we'll go over his background a little bit, and then we'll get into his character and see what he could do potentially for you. So, he's a class grappler, gendered male, age 32, an ascetic monk who lives in a mountain temple. Those who know of his skills firmly believe he's the best martial artist on the continent. He pays secular matters no heed, not even caring about the great war that is enveloping the continent. Nevertheless, he decides to come down from the mountain and enter the battlefield, as it is the best place to seek more strength. His first battle will soon teach him there are countless reasons that drive people to fight. So he's kind of like a good guy, you know, in a sense here. And, um, you know, obviously he's just kind of one of those three DCers, as you see here. You know, big check there. Good thing is, with the, the monk ability, he's at agility 84, so he's pretty well established. The only downside is this guy's intelligence is 54. He's not, he's not the sharpest stool in a shed. Attack is 160. You know, that's kind of good. That's all right, that right there. I like that. And hit points are, you know, fairly solid, 651. That's just kind of average. He's kind of an average guy, but he is lacking in intelligence, so I wouldn't go putting up, you know, too far in the front lines against mages and all that kind of stuff. Really, against physical fighters, he's probably going to kind of shine more so. So the gear you get here is a fist piece of gear, a glove, uh, light armor, a gauntlet, and a ring. That's what you get. His natural ability right now is uh, accuracy plus 10%. Plus, with the bonus of agility 84, you can really do a lot with that. So, you pretty much hit most of your targets with this guy. It's pretty nice. So, your basic attacks here are breaking blow, normal attack, one hex radius, power of 110, accuracy plus 10. Pretty much just a good overall skill, monk skill, you know, gives you a little bonus to hit. It's just your normal attack right there. Second one, Thief's Cut. So this one deals moderate damage to a single adjacent enemy unit. Recover HP up to 20% of the damage dealt. So if you get a crit with this attack, your attack hits and also does a critical damage to the enemy, you'll get extra hit points back. This one's a really good skill to use to actually soft heal yourself. You know, it's a very soft heal. It's really not that much. You're just going to be looking at pennies, essentially. But with every little transaction, it does count. It does add up to something. So, you know, you could use that as much as you like. Now, here's another one you can use. Fighting focus, increase attack for a limited number of turns. So basically, you just put your foot down and you just kind of hulk out a little bit. And it's not an attack against anybody. It's basically like the knight's ability to put a protect on themselves. Instead, with this, you can actually put attack on yourself and uh, increase it up here. Now, yes, I haven't gotten him to level 20 yet, but as a grappler, he's okay. Uh, if I have to talk about a few other things, I'd have to probably say there are some other avenues that you could put him down as far as certain things are concerned. I think you could make him into a decent monk and all that. I haven't really tried it too much uh, with him, but I'd have to say probably more so if you want to change him to something. I honestly don't know if Berserker would be a good idea. Now, you get the agility and all that, but with low intelligence too, it's just kind of like piling on top of everything, what you already have. Uh, there is a thief type. You could probably go maybe a treasure hunter. Try this out. This is essentially the stats you're going to see going up there. Although you will lose hit points, and having 600 hit points this late in the game is... With the agility, you can make it work. You know, this is not a decent way, you know, this is, I'm sorry, this is a decent way to go. You could go Treasure Hunter and do this sort of thing with Faye. If you want to cross-class into something else, Thief would probably work. But it's either going to be Thief if you want to cross-class or maybe a Paladin because you'll get hit points, your defense is going to crank up, and your agility is going to be quite high, plus the fact that you're already going to have this ability of cranking up your attack with... Uh, uh, you know, the particular if you got that move, you know, you crank up your attack when, um, oh wait, no, that's not right never mind, <laughs> I'm thinking of something else here, I'm thinking of a different game um 
But, um, yeah. You're, you're gonna, essentially, going over here with skills, you know, I mean, don't worry too much about the skills, but the stats is kind of what I wanted to talk about here. So, you could do the swordsman thing, too, although you're basically just kind of, like, making a different kind of monk if you do. You get a slight advantage to defense, but honestly, the best things I could probably recommend, if you were going to cross class, probably be Thief to go to the Treasure Hunter, or probably the Fighter. Maybe go towards the Paladin with him, because hit points are kind of low. Yeah, you could try the Dark Knight. I don't really know if it's going to be that great with, with Dark Knight. Although, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe. So, yeah, you do get the accuracy up there. You do get to keep that. So that is definitely a kind of a good bonus there. But, you know, you got to think about this. Because he's just one of those Project Knights, right? So you're going to have accuracy bonus up. You don't really need it too badly being 80 agility coming into it. So it's not that necessary. Um, but it would pretty much make you, as a tank not surrounding enemies and not, you know, being able to push in the front line, probably make you be able to hit with some pretty tough things. You know, there are some skills that are hard to hit like this. So, I mean, it could help with the Dark Knight, potentially, now that I'm thinking about it like that. Um, as it's low accuracy with Terror Impact, but it also applies for Paladin too, with uh, some of the moves that you get as a Paladin here. Like the holy break here, low accuracy also. But you know the thing is because of the because of the low hit points. I mean, it's 650 is still good. Um, but with the low intelligence, the hit points not being up in the 700s at this point, level 17, considering a monk should have high hit points. Because honestly, the monks and the barbarians kind of have the high hit points as far as what uh, classes are concerned, and so they sacrifice some defense for high hit points. And so I would probably like to see it like 700 plus, you know, naturally aspirating. But you do what you want with the classes. He's a decent project knight. Uh, I haven't really been able to practice with him too much. But, you know, he's a good guy. He's a project knight. His intelligence is pretty low. <laughs> so, you know, if you're going to change into something where you could handle some damage, and the reason I'm saying maybe go into a tank or a thief, because you either need to like really, really run away or you need to really, really be able to handle the damage because as soon as you get hit with a with a, um, a curse spell, a divine, even a divine ray, even any other kind of magic spell, you're gonna be feeling it in the morning. You really will. So that's all I gotta say about Fey. I think he's a good character, and I'd love to be able to practice them more. He could be an amazing champion, which I have yet to see that, but. Um, Usually I kind of cross-class into some other stuff. For me, personally, I'd have to practice the champion class more, but I know from the previous game, Legend of Forcina, I loved it more in that game in particular. And that's just my preference. But uh, you tell me what you think about Faye. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. And I'll see you in the next Brigandine video. Thank you so much for watching.